So recently I shared a video on easy page ideas for beginners or for more experienced journalists and I think you guys really enjoyed this video and I have so many more ideas so I thought I would come back today with part two. So in this video I'm going to share 10 more ideas for journal pages and just a quick note these are creative journaling ideas so they're not so much journaling prompts like things you would write about but they're more so creative ideas of things that you can include in your journal and like I said I've so many ideas so I already have enough ideas to do a part three if you guys want to see it give this video a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments and I'll keep these types of videos coming but for now let's get into part two if you haven't seen part one yet I will leave the link for that down in the description box below and I'm also going to leave like a little graphic of all of the ideas so far that way you can just pause the video take a screenshot or you can go to my Instagram page and you can find the post over there and save it for your reference so before we get started as well, I just wanted to show you the journal that I'm working in. This is a journal that I made, of course, and it's actually almost full. So we're getting to the end of this journal. I'm starting to run out of pages, so there's not a whole lot of room left. But this is what I'm going to be journaling in in today's video and showing you all of the ideas that I have. So the first idea is to take paints and to paint little blobs or shapes on a page and then go in with pen it can be black pen white pen or like a different colored pen and write over the top of those blobs so you can paint sections of the page and create areas for journaling this is something that I do a lot especially with the black paint and the white pen I love the look of that but as you can see you can definitely do other colors and you could definitely try out different pen colors as well the next idea is to do a review of books or movies or TV shows. So on this page, I actually did, it's kind of less of a review and more of like an appreciation of these childhood favorites of mine. So these are some shows that I used to watch growing up and they're still like my favorite shows today. So this is a really fun and easy idea. It's really easy to go to Google and type in the name of the book or the movie or the TV show and you can get a bunch of pictures from Google images and print them out and use those alongside your review. I've also used stickers, little star stickers to rate the shows. I gave all of these shows five stars because they're my favorites, but you can do that. That's a really fun thing to do. And these are little sticky notes along the bottom of the page as well. So this was a really fun sort of nostalgic page spread to do, but you can definitely do more current books or TV shows or movies that you're watching right now. Another fun little page idea is to cut little windows in the pages and create like little peekaboo spots on the pages so you can peek through to the next page. So for this one, I cut out a little circle in the page, but I glued down a little doily piece first so that it looks a little bit more pretty and that just allows me to peek through to the page behind it and it's just a fun little idea to make your journal look, look and feel a little bit more interesting. Another journal page idea is to collect packaging from foods or products that you buy and include those in your journal spreads. Usually when I do this, I would team those up with more meaningful journaling, um, maybe some photos and stuff, and it would usually be kind of relevant to my journaling. But for this page, I just jammed a whole bunch of pieces into the same page to sort of demonstrate the idea. But there are so many different packaging pieces that you can collect from your everyday life to keep as mementos from certain moments. And this is page before that one, which I already had done in my journal of all these sweet wrappers, which were given to me from different family members over probably the course of two months or so. So um, I just wrote like a little label beside each one saying who they were from. Another idea is to write on doilies. So you can write on doilies that you would get from like a dollar store or from a party supply store. The ones that you would typically use for crafts or for birthday parties and stuff like that. Or these days you can also find beautiful vintage linen doilies which you can get on Etsy as printable products. So I personally have a bunch of these beautiful linen doilies in my Etsy shop as printable downloads to use in journaling and the beautiful thing about them is, is that they look really pretty and vintage but they also add sort of like the illusion of texture to your page because they look stitched but they're actually just flat paper and I love to use them to write on but you can also use them to stick photos on top of and create photo frames and stuff like that. 
Another idea is to collect recipes in your journals. So on this page, I wrote out a recipe of some pasta that I made with my sister recently. And I also included some other vintage recipes, which I had laying around in my stash. But I think this is a great idea, especially if you are someone who's into cooking or if you have sort of family recipes or recipes handed to you from friends that you like to include in your journal. It's always a little bit more special if they came from someone else. Another idea for your journal is to do a monthly plan or like a planner page. I actually have a calendar from a magazine which I cut and glued into the journal and then I just filled in a few birthdays and things and there's still room to add more when we get a bit closer to April. Or you can write up your own calendar and get a ruler and create your own little spots and then fill in the month ahead. It's a really useful thing to include in your journal and it's also a really fun thing to look back on. As well, if you're including this in your journal, you can use it for memory keeping and you can go back and write in each day the things that you did or you could even add little photos or mementos from those days as well. Another idea and probably a more obvious idea is to write stories in your journal and by stories I mean real things that have happened in your life. This is something that I do a lot because I use my journals like scrapbooks for memory keeping but this is something you can do about things that have happened a long time ago or recently or on the very day that you write it in your journal but it doesn't have to be the same day. You can go back and recount stories that you remember so this one is just a really cute story about my kids and feel free to pause it and read the story if you like. But it's just a really fun thing to look back on in your journal pages. Another idea is to take stickers and use them alongside journaling. So this is something that some people do really, really well and I certainly am not very good at it, as you can probably tell, but I've seen some really beautiful spreads where people will include stickers alongside their journaling to help tell the story. If you have a lot of stickers, this is a great way to use them up and just to keep your journaling really simple, but to make it a little bit more interesting. And then for this same page, I used it to demonstrate the next idea, which is to journal on a page and then fold it in half. And you can then secure this with paper clips and it creates this little hidden journaling spot within your journal. So if I was journaling about something that was a little bit more private or something that I didn't want to be seen, if someone was to pick up my journal and flick through, then I could create a page like this where I'm kind of where I'm kind of concealing the journal in a slightly more hidden way. So those are my easy journal page ideas for today. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I'm going to have a little graphic at the end. If you would like to screenshot all of the ideas that I've shared so far in both part one and part two, I'm also gonna share that over on Instagram if you wanna save the post over there. If you guys do enjoy this type of video, let me know down below and I will keep them coming for you guys. I have so many more ideas to share. I also share heaps of journaling process videos on my channel as well as journal flip throughs. So this one's nearly done and this one's going to be a really fun flip through. So I'm looking forward to that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're all doing really well and I will see you in my next video. Bye.